In this video, we're going to look at using the Digibase browsers to import audio into your Pro Tools session. First, we'll need to open the Workspace browser. You can do this by going to the Window menu and choosing Workspace. Next, we'll want to use the Workspace to search for some audio files. The first thing we'll want to do is click on the Find button, or magnifying glass, to enter search mode. Next, we'll want to choose which volumes to search. By default, all of the volumes on your system will be checked. You can uncheck volumes to eliminate them from the search, which will dramatically improve the speed of the search. In this case, we'll only be searching the volume called Media, and I've unchecked all of the other volumes. Next, we'll want to be sure to set the kind to Audio File. This will also help to speed up search results dramatically. Now we're ready to execute a search. I simply type a keyword into the Name field, and then click the Search button or press Return to execute the search. The results of the search will be shown in the bottom half of the window. You can select one of the resulting clips, press the space bar, click on the speaker icon, or click directly into the waveform to audition the clip. To import one or more clips into the clip list, simply click and drag the clip from the workspace browser into the clip list. The files will automatically be converted to the correct file format, bit depth, and sample rate of the session if necessary. Note that if the file already matches the session's parameters, Pro Tools will add the file to the session and reference it in its original location. If you want to force Pro Tools to always copy the file regardless of its settings, hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows while you drag the file to the clip list. Another import option we have is to import a file directly to existing tracks in the session. I simply select the files in the Digibase browser and then click and drag them onto the existing track. Note that I can drag and drop the file at a particular location in the session if I so desire. I can also import files directly to new tracks in the session. Simply select the files in the Workspace browser and drag and drop them in the tracks list. Note that Pro Tools will automatically create new tracks for each file and name the track after the file name. I can also use the Workspace browser to quickly import audio from an audio CD. Simply insert the audio CD into your computer's optical drive, and it will appear as another volume in the Workspace browser. I can click on the disclosure triangle to show the tracks on the CD, audition the individual tracks using the spacebar, and then drag and drop the file into the session using any of the previously mentioned methods. Pro Tools will automatically convert the file to the session's file type, sample rate, and bit depth. 